Howdy. So, uh, here's a breakdown of the gasifier. Um, this is just uh, from a booster cable. I just put that on the lid here so that it's got some spring in there in case uh, we have any uh, blowback and uh, it's just like a, a pop valve or safety mechanism. So, we got our, uh, I have no um, ash clean out here yet. I've been kind of building this project in phases here as I go because uh, I don't know exactly how I wanted everything set up yet. So um, to do my clean out here, I'm gonna have to come through the top here and uh, it's good because we can examine the inside here. And uh, now eventually, um, I want to build a hopper off of here and because uh, one thing that happens is uh, the condensate will catch on the top here and inside your vessel so what you want is a hopper with uh, you'll lay a screen you'll have like a double wall inside and have a, a screen so that all your condensate will uh, drop to the outside and then you can drain it out after um, but for now this seems to be working okay. I'm just gonna have to do some cleaning here once in a while. I've got about 12 hours of runtime into this system so far. Okay, so this uh, mount of wood here that we just removed from the inside of the vessel, that is the uh, pyrolysis zone and that's uh, just a fancy word for using heat to uh, break down large molecules into smaller ones. Now, the way I designed my uh, gasifier here, um, I can either run small engines or larger engines, and that's because, uh, I don't know if you guys can see in here, but these are air nozzles on the inside, and uh, well, this one's a plug here, uh, right now, I want to run a smaller engine, so I have five of my airports uh, plugged off, and then uh, five are open. Now, all I use for these air ports are, uh, it's like a three-quarter inch plug, I believe, and uh, they came with the hole in it already. Um, you can buy them with, uh, they'll just be plugs, and then you can drill it out to whatever you want but I found uh, 3 8 is about a good size for your your air nozzle um, and they're super cheap and you can get them anywhere so that's and uh, so all you do is I used uh, a 10 inch standard pipe for uh, my uh, vessel here um, I drilled 10 uh, 1 inch holes in there and then uh, on the one side you got to weld like a coupling that this can uh, your air nozzle can screw into um, I advise if you're gonna follow this same plan here um, when you go to weld those on you're gonna want to put a nipple on there and make sure that it it lines up so that it's going straight uh, when you tack it in place and then uh, weld it so um, Next, uh, down here, this is uh, our reduction zone, and all it is is a, a plate, and uh, determining what size of engine you want to run or how much gas you want to produce, um, that size will vary. Now, for a smaller engine, you're going to want about a 3-inch hole, and that's what I have so far. So, if I pull this out of here, you're going to see all it is is... Uh, like a, a donut here welded onto a, a six inch piece of pipe um, now this this pipe is gonna hold all your biochar and that's uh, where the actual chemical uh, process takes place to make your sing gas and all that is is uh, you're gonna take uh, this well usually you take it from your, your bottom here but uh, this is biochar 
uh, you'll notice it's very light and it uh, it breaks up easy it's not like a charcoal it's a biochar and it's good for uh, putting it in your garden so <clears throat> what holds all that char up in here is you're gonna have a grate hanging about one inch below this pipe so before you start it up you're gonna fill this whole bed up with your biochar and then uh, on top of that you can stack your pellets or wood chunks or whatever you're using for fuel. Uh, if we can see in there, there's my grate and uh, it's just hanging by three chains for now. Um, I wanted to set up a hand operated system first. Now you can see when I go to shake my grate here it just goes back and forth here like that and uh, now I made my uh, this piece a little bit too small my hole on the inside so I had to cut two little slots here so that I can uh, take my grate in and out but eventually I want to uh, when I get my uh, my ash clean out built down here um, I would like to automate it so this uh, this grate will spin but it I, I want this as a backup in case you know the motor craps out or something I always have this to rely on later so um, I'm just gonna take the grate out here so this is there's a grate, um, it's just half inch steel that I cut a bunch of slots into and then uh, just these uh, chain hooks here to hook onto the chain um, so that it holds it up inside and then uh, down here um, I just welded a couple bars on there and that's where my uh, my shaker handle goes in here and all I do is it rocks back and forth like this and it, it shakes the grate. So it's very simple design and uh, relatively cheap to do. Um, I think I got about 300 bucks into this system here so far. Um, so that's the inside of the gasifier. Oh, maybe uh, I don't know if you guys can see down in here. Um, way down there, that's where my uh, where my shaker go comes through. You can see it moving back and forth, maybe. And uh, this was very simple. All I did was uh, I took a half inch bolt, um, welded the nut to the outside of the vessel while well, after drilling a hole through the vessel and then screwed my bolt through. And, uh, but I think if I was to redo this, I would, uh, I would have put a double, I would have welded a nut onto this uh, handle here and then another nut uh, so that you could double nut it on this side so the whole thing could pull apart but um, it's no big deal if I ever have a problem we'll just cut it here and it'll screw out so this is uh, the air inlet here um, it's very important when you go to start it up I uh, made this mistake on my first startup but I, uh, I had the cap on here and uh, so when I closed the lid here after loading it up um, I blew the, the fan motor because I was uh, it couldn't suck any air through the system and it, it just it ratched it in about 10 seconds so um, that's a not to do so my air comes in through here um, and the, into this heater box um, so my gas is, is passing up through this chamber here into my heater box where this uh, 
my fresh air is also coming in. Now on this pipe I have uh, some flat bar welded to it. Um, it acts as a little bit of a heat exchanger so it's, it's preheating your uh, air before it enters into the vessel here. Um, I put this, uh, it might be too small, it's just a one inch uh, nipple on there for starting it. Um, I don't need that quite yet until I get a hopper built on here, but um, that's the idea on there.